We didn't die. She was convinced, but we made it. True. We're on to our next adventure. Hundred. We're going to Alcatraz. Yeah. Hundred twenty-five dollar <laughs> taxi. Later. We made it. That's true. He it was, was a lifesaver. He was a lifesaver. He was great. He was a legend. It was like pitch black, and I don't think I could see anything except <laughs> um, furry creatures that I thought were there that probably weren't. They were traffic cones. So. They, they were traffic cones. <laughs> In today's video, we're going to be going to Alcatraz, which as you can see behind me, we've already safely arrived. It was about a 10 minute ferry ride, Not and we're going to take you guys through this epic prison experience. It's going to be cool. Thirteen stories later, we made it. It is a little bit of a climb, which makes sense for a dangerous went, prison. My watch just went off that it's been at least ten stories. Right. How would you like to shower in this? No privacy, no stalls, twice a week. That's all you got. Audio tour in check. We're ready. We're officially tourists. We can put this on backwards. <laughs> Wait, did I put them on backwards? No, they just feel bad. So this was their recreation yard, which apparently a lot of these prisoners used to play bridge, believe it or not. The only people I know that played bridge are a little old ladies. Well, this was in the 30s. But uh, we were listening to the audio tour, obviously, and it said that when they were so preoccupied with playing bridge, they'd literally stay out here for hours in the freezing cold. And I guess it just kind of made them think about doing that. And it was actually auto bridge. So these people, these prisoners used to play by themselves. Um, but it'd get them not thinking about going over the wall. I don't know what this was. Bridge. This is bridge? Yeah. How did you play? And I finished all the way down here. I have no idea how you play bridge. If anybody knows how to play bridge, let us know. And let us know how old you are as well. <laughs> These cells were 11 feet tall, 5 feet wide, and 9 feet long. So, sorry That's for it. call. <laughs> yeah. In the hole. Solitary confinement. And the door I select then is going to be the door that I'm actually going to be opening. So let's go ahead. Let's open door two. Okay? I select door two with my first lever. My next lever is the clutch. What the clutch mechanism does is the 
for those of you that are standing over by this door, there's actually a plexiglass and there's a bar that is attached to each door. When I select it and then clutch it, the clutching mechanism actually grabs the bar of that door. My third and final lever then is the one that is going to open and close the cell doors. So I selected door two, I clutch door two, then I clutch it. single door, 12 with the weight of 12 more doors. So I've got the weight of 13 doors on the lever now. just steps away from world famous Fisherman's Wharf, the historic center of San Francisco's National Historical Site, San Francisco's architecture. Any unexpected vessel movement. These old tank rails, whenever possible, particularly on stairways. It's not rude, it's bright. I need my sunglasses, my eyes are sensitive. Okay. Alcatraz okay. review, yay yeah, or nay? Worth doing, for sure. Worth doing. Literally was. I was not, this was for him, this was not for me, I was not. She wasn't that excited. She's like, oh, no, no we'll go. No, no, okay. <laughs> it's so cool, though. It's so worth doing. Bunch of history. I mean, for like, I think it, it was 53 bucks yeah. for the whole thing. And it took us like two hours. I mean, they give you two and yeah. a half. Well worth it. plenty of time. And well worth walking around the island. Also, such a beautiful day. So. Well, yeah. Yeah. Now we're headed to Fisherman's Wharf. And check that out after we get some good food. Yeah. Food, first and, and foremost. Food. And I need coffee. Yeah, coffee again. You excited about bacon? I'm freaking stoked. <laughs> like this, we picked this place. Well, I picked this place on a whim. I picked this place on a whim. Kind of solely for the bacon. But pretty much solely for the bacon. So I'm really excited. So there's. I mean, look at this. Orange and sea salt goodness. Original cinnamon and rosemary. I am most excited about the cinnamon and rosemary. Because I actually like sweet. Like Sam doesn't like sweet very much. It'll be I'm, interesting. Yeah, I'm all for I'm all for the cinnamon thing. line <laughs> to go down Lombard Street. Look, there's a line of cars. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> I made him walk all the way up <laughs> to the top of Lombard Street from the bottom. Look at look at this. No, 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 no. <laughs> you can't tell how far down that is, but I swear to you that's 300 feet elevation. And I really don't think he thinks it was worth it. <laughs> So I'm a little upset. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't mind it. Anyway, it's a great view. Like, it's a great... It's a great view. <sighs> Whatever you say, John.
quintessential. We came to look for tulips, but somebody's not happy. There's no tulips. Not this time of year. Don't say I'm not happy. I am I am happy. I think we're going to have to... I want to go to the beach. <laughs> so we're currently biking from the beach on San Francisco to the Golden Gate, which we didn't realize was literally all the way uphill and she's dying it it it, it, it is a hefty oh hill for those who are curious come prepared as evidenced by it's a tough hill The bike ride didn't go well. Too much uphill. I, I, no, I just ate too much at breakfast. And too much uphill. It was legit like a mile and a half uphill to the Golden Gate. We turned back and now we decided to take an Uber and be smart. I wasn't prepared. It's okay. I was ill prepared. Happens to the best of us. But now, we get to enjoy this view while we wait for an Uber. We made it. Golden Gate at sunrise. Sunset. <laughs> Same thing. The sun's doing one of the things that it typically does. She's not excited. She's ready to go home. I'm freezing. But it's gorgeous. We have to go up there. She's ready to go home. She left me. I was all the way up here, being nice, taking a picture for some very sweet folks. Oh my gosh! Were and you I turned really? around. <laughs> she was three miles down the road, down this goat trail, while I'm wearing a camera full of backpack gear. We can do it. There's one more viewpoint I want. Look at this beautiful sunset. I mean, fair. All right, let's I literally, go. I really did think this was going to be like an overrated kind of viewpoint for the Golden Gate. It's, it's worth so, it. It's so worth it. It's such a good, good viewpoint. And Fort Point, which is right down below, is where... Oh God. What was the movie? Future Chelsea will tell you what the movie was, because I'm forgetting. I'm blanking where the movie is, where that uh, shot was um, done for that movie. But Future Chelsea will tell you. This is, this is what she made me go down with a backpack full of camera gear. Sketchy goat trails. It's okay. I just have the drone and the both cameras and the tripod and all the gear. It's fun. Let me take the bag. No, it's okay. <laughs>